Hey everybody, welcome back to Code Dynamic Websites with PHP. This lecture is called Tools to Get Started. As I mentioned before, because PHP is a server-side programming language, it requires a server in order to run. Now, I don't mean a physical server that costs thousands of dollars and takes up an entire closet. I mean a virtual server that can run on your computer. The great thing about this is that there are a number of great free options out there. If you're on a Mac, I suggest using MAMP. MAMP stands for Mac Apache MySQL PHP. However, they've recently developed a beta version for Windows. So the Windows version stands for My Apache MySQL PHP. If you're on a Windows machine, I recommend trying the Windows version of MAMP as well. Keep in mind that it's in beta at the time of the recording of this video, so there may be some bugs they're still working out. Alternatively, both Mac and PC users can try something like AMPS, A-M-P-P-S, but I will be using MAMP, so it might be easier for you to follow along using MAMP as well. So in the interest of full disclosure, please keep in mind that some of the following resources that I'm about to talk about are my affiliate links, and I'll earn a small commission should you decide to make a purchase with them. At absolutely no cost to you, however, keep in mind that I either have thorough experience with the following tools and websites, or have heard great things about them and I am only recommending them because they have helped me succeed in my business or are incredibly useful. Don't spend any of your money on the products or resources unless you think they will help you or further you in your learning experience with me. So my most recommended tool is a code editor. You're obviously going to need a code editor uh, for this course. And if you're serious about coding or you want to start out with a solid tool to code with, I, recom I strongly recommend Coda 2 for Mac. It has a beautiful user interface with tabbed navigation, a super sidebar, and a simple layout. The features are totally outrageous and extensive with code folding, smart complete, auto indentation, Git integration, built-in terminal, iCloud support, just to name a few. The features, they seem to be endless with Coda 2. I use Coda 2 for all of my courses and tutorials and also for my projects, uh, personal and professional. And if you decide to use Coda 2 as your code editor of choice, it would greatly benefit you when taking my courses, this one and all my other ones. The price of the editor weighs in at $75 US, but there's a seven day unlimited trial, which should be plenty of time for you to complete this course. However, there are more options out there and here are a few you might consider. So for both Mac and Windows, there is something called Textastic, a minimal code editor that allows multitasking, auto code completion, syntax highlighting, and more. I've never used it personally, but it seems to be a popular choice. The great thing about this one is it's only $5.99 US. There might also be a free trial with this one as well. I'm not entirely sure. Next up, Sublime Text. Uh, it's a full-fledged code editor that features side-by-side -side mode for comparing documents, full-screen mode, a whole bunch of other great features as well. And one of the best code editors out there. And if I didn't love Coda 2 so much, I would probably use Sublime Text. The price tag for Sublime Text is $70, but it comes with a free trial. Now for Mac-only users, there is Espresso by MacRabbit. It is a sexy code editor that looks beautiful and performs just as beautifully. Espresso claims to turbocharge your workflow. It features extensive language support, powerful smart snippets, code folding, real-time live styling, and so much more. Espresso's price tag is $75 US, but it has a free trial as well. So worth checking out. It's very similar to Coda as well, so if you want to try Espresso, then it might work really good with this course. All right, so Text Wrangler. It's a simple bare bones text editor and handles code quite well, but is meant for hand coding with no frills. That means there aren't really any features. It's a good practice to learn how to hand code the no frills way if you're just starting out uh, with learning how to code. Uh, and the great part is it's free as well. There is also BB Edit, which is the big brother to Text Wrangler. BB Edit has a much more impressive feature set much like the features listed in the code editors I previously mentioned. So next, you're obviously going to need a browser. Uh, I suggest using a modern browser like Google Chrome, Apple Safari, or Firefox. I will be using Google Chrome throughout the course. 
so it might be helpful to follow along. Domain names and web hosting. So they're not required for this course, but it is a good idea to have a domain name and hosting account ready as later in the course, we will be touching on how to upload your website live on the web. If you don't have a domain and web hosting uh, and you don't want to have it, that's okay. So my most recommended hosting provider is Just Host. And you can sign up for Just Host at bradhussey.ca slash Just Host. I use them for all of my websites and have been a happy customer for nearly seven years now. I recommend these guys to all of my clients, my students, my family, and my friends. And if you're looking to start your very first website or are looking for a re reliable hosting provider, then you found them. You get a free domain name for life, great customer service, unlimited domains, unlimited email accounts, unlimited gigabytes of space. It seems like there's unlimited everything and an anytime money back guarantee. But by far my most favorite part is you can set up a blog website in minutes with a one click WordPress install. It's quite impressive. I have a video on it. You can check it out on YouTube. These guys are awesome. Now, if you're looking to purchase a domain name, I recommend GoDaddy and you can sign up or get a domain name at bradhussey.ca slash GoDaddy. I use GoDaddy to purchase all my domain names, and um, it's one of the best, if not the best, website to find and purchase all of your domain names. So learning HTML and CSS. If you're unfamiliar with HTML and CSS, I strongly recommend you pick up some of the basic skills before going forward with this course as you might get lost in some of the concepts without HTML knowledge. Lucky for you, I have a total beginner's course called Build a Website from Scratch with HTML and CSS, and it will get you up and running quickly. I'll also give you 50% off if you use the coupon code DYNAMICPHP. Well, that's all for the important tools and resources at this point. I recommend bookmarking my resources page at bradhussey.ca slash resources for future reference, as I frequently update that page with the helpful tools I use to make my life a little bit easier. Thanks for hanging in there. Next up, we're diving into PHP basics. See you there.